Okay, so we're going to take a look at functions of life. And while taking a look at functions of life, we're going to look at two specific types of unicellular organisms, uh, the paramecium and the chlamydomonas. And these are two specific types of unicellular organisms. And one of them is more animal-like and the other is more plant-like. But remember, they belong to the kingdom called protista. So we have nutrition, we've got growth, response is reacting to stimuli, excretion or getting rid of waste products, metabolism, uh, all the different types of reactions that'll go on inside the organism to help carry out different types of enzyme reactions, uh, respiration, energy, production from the different types of food sources as well too. We've got homeostasis or maintaining the internal balance and then reproduction, of course. Life is not complete without a little bit of reproduction going on. So in terms of nutrition, the paramecium uses this cellular process called endocytosis. So it's taking in smaller things uh, by folding the plasma membrane, endocytosis, whereas chlamydomonas, because it can actually do photosynthesis, can actually produce its own sugar by using regular photosynthesis uh, photosynthetic processes using light from the sun. So in terms of growth, both of these things need to increase in size, but they are limited by this surface area to volume ratio that you should be familiar with. And because they're only made up of one cell, they're not going to get that large, but they do have to be able to develop. And they both develop by using the food products that they either obtain through heterotrophic nutrition, getting it from another organism or eating it from other places, or by constructing them themselves, and then they can use those products to help them uh, develop different types of cell products that they need to help them increase in size or grow. Reaction to stimuli, so both of these things can respond to external stimuli. So what's been observed in paramecium is that if they're touched by a solid object, they tend to reverse uh, direction. It's a built-in, innate kind of behavior. Chlamydomonas, they can respond to actual uh, light intensity and they use an eye spot to be able to sense that. Both of these things have to get rid of waste products and their primary waste products are a result of the method they use for obtaining energy. So in terms of for paramecium, it's more of a respiration type thing where the end product, waste product is gonna be carbon dioxide. Whereas for the chlamydomonas, because they're doing photosynthesis, the opposite or oxygen is the waste product there. So if you know the equations for cellular respiration and for photosynthesis, you should be able to see that those are actual opposite processes that are happening. For metabolism, both of them have enzymes that help them to carry out these complex chemical reactions. These enzymes will help them catalyze all the different reactions that are going on, and they pretty much exist in the cytoplasm. There's not much other place for any of these chemical reactions to happen. They are only made of one cell, and so the cytoplasm is the main place where a lot of this metabolic stuff goes on. For homeostasis, nothing particularly special. Because they have a membrane, they're able to separate their internal environment from the external environment. And just having that plasma membrane, which is selectively permeable, I'm just using some of these terms you should be familiar with, selectively permeable, they're able to allow certain things in and keep certain things out, thereby maintaining homeostasis and keeping everything fine and dandy inside. And both of these unicellular organisms have an ability that I wish I had, that is to switch between the ability to reproduce asexually through mitosis and sexually through meiosis. I don't know if I really want to be able to reproduce asexually. I just think it's a cool thing to have, you know. Choices are great. Eh? We all like choices.